of submission. Representing Syndicate MMA, inviting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Nathan Levy. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corners of free representing Jackson Wink MMA, inviting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Henry Boom Boom Barahona. The referee in charge of the action, Joe Coca. Fighters, you've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Remember to protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands at all times. I expect a clean, fair fight. Any questions from you, Blue? Any questions from you, Red? Yes, sir. Touch gloves if you wish. Go back to your corners. Rhythm. Rhythm. He's coming hard in First fight of the night honors go to Natan Levy and Henry Barahona, LFA featherweight First division. First round, gentlemen. Buddy, you ready? Buddy, you ready? Let's get it. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Our referee is Joe Okoka. And Pat, we talked about Levy early on. He's getting a lot of press. Comes in with two first-round finishes. Total fight time as a pro, only one minute and 54 seconds. Gotten a couple quick finishes with his submissions, but his striking is as crisp or better. He's done a lot more of that over the years. Barona in the blue trunks and Levy in the red and gray. Barona, a tougher fighter than his three and three record really indicates. He's faced some very tough competition. His losses came to fighters who have a current combined record of 17 and one. Oh, you see how he stomp kicked his knee on the supporting leg. Oh my goodness. Levy. Quick hands and feet. Levy was lighting him up, standing up, and then deciding to go to the ground here, trying to at least. Beautiful flurry. That is both victories by Levy coming by way of submission, but like you said, Patty, usually starts to pick apart his opponent in the stand-up game, then takes him down and finishes him there. It looked like he was ready to roll for a knee bar there for a second. Levy went 4-0 and oh as an amateur with two knockouts. Oof. Foot stomp echoes through the arena. Nice job by Verona turning the tables here. Got Levy against the cage. See if Barona can do anything from this position, the Jackson Wink MMA product, making his LFA debut tonight. Watch your fingers in the eyes. Nice, taking advantage of those double underhooks, landing the knee to the body. Now dropping, almost got his hands locked. Barona, the four-time New Mexico State wrestling champion in high school. He also holds numerous BJJ titles. Yeah. Levy trying to scramble Fingers out of the cage, fingers out of the cage. Barona's wrestling background showed on that takedown attempt by Levy that was unsuccessful. Just past the midway point, round number one. Persistence pays off. Yes, it did. Nice job hopping to the side. We're going to find out what Levy's made of on the ground here. Great call, partner. This is the first time that we've really seen a Levy in this type of position against a tough wrestler. Here comes a uh, triangle set up. Here are Levy's corner calling to their fighter to drop some elbows. We're on a stacking into him as much as he can here. He's getting the angle. Was. Levy taking his time. How much trouble is Barona in at this point, Pat? Well, Levy's trying to get the angle there. Barona knows not to give it to him. Now he's turning out of it. Now Numa Plata possibly. Nope, Barona was able to get through. He's going to get that right leg across. He's trying. Levy knows it. 
Levy trying to block that leg from stepping over. Under a minute to go. Opening frame, LFA 58. Barry finally righted himself. Took a lot of energy out of Levy going for that, that triangle choke, I guarantee it. Pass on the guard again. Passes the guard, ends up outside. And with 30 seconds to go, an opportunity for Henry Barahona. Known as Boom Boom, originally from Phoenix. Now fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Sliding the knee across, taking mount. 10 seconds, gentlemen. Break! Bell Sounds in round number one concludes with Henry Barahona surviving an early onslaught from Natan Levy. Deep you breaths. Barrow. Right, here's the deal. When you're firing up on him, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Just getting some great advice there from beautiful Mike hook Winkle kick. John. Hook kick to the spinning back fist. Wobbled Verona a little bit. Levy recognized it and then came in with a heavy flurry. Smelling blood in the water, that's for sure. And then at the end of that flurry, he went in to try and get a takedown, which ended up resulting in nothing for him. And Verona turned the tables on him and got a takedown using that wrestling background of his. I think Levy's gonna come away from that first round saying, why did I tie up with him when I was flurrying on him so beautifully? I hope his corner's telling him the same thing. See if Levy keeps it on the feet for this second round. Hall of Famer Pat Militich gives that first round to Henry Barahona. Second round, gentlemen, fight! We're gonna check in now with Phoenix, who was in Levy's corner. They were basically just telling him to touch and go, to set everything up with the hands, and that they said that this was not a surprise to them. They knew this fight was gonna go this way. Keep yourself calm, use the hands, let the hands set everything else up, and angles, of course. Thank you, Phoenix. Raton Levy, 2-0, oh, the gray shorts, and Henry Barahona has got the blue shorts. Sounds like Levy's corner's taking the right approach. Front kick and those quick kicks from Levy. Tried an axe kick, huh? Easy to catch. Don't want to give that to a wrestler. And now Levy dumps Barahona. Ends up in his guard. Want to hear from you tonight during the broadcast? Hit us up on Twitter, hashtag LFA58 at R. Cruck, at Pat Militich, at Microphone Fiend, and at Access TV Fights. Well, they're continually trying to walk those legs up higher. We're on the legs locked, not going for any submissions, just kind of holding on right now. Now he's starting to walk him up. Levy steps over the leg. Levy sneaks an elbow through. Good power. Verona needs an inside tie on that right arm. Get his hand on that bicep, stop those elbows from coming. Now he's trapping the wrist. It's the first time that oh, Tom bar, Levy arm has arm been arm in arm the arm second bar, round. Bar. You hear the Hall of Famer arm bar. Now going to the normal Plata. Tipping back over, he was trying to tip him back over his knee and his thigh. See there, UFC veteran Joey Villasenor. 
shouting instructions to Barona. Nice. And the fight. And back on its feet. Barona coming forward. Past the two minute mark, round number two, we are scheduled for three. Now Levy, a flurry. Levy is getting damage. tired, the altitude's bothering him a little bit possibly. He was huffing there. Levy training out of Las Vegas and Syndicate MMA. Barona, one of several local Albuquerque, New Mexico fighters. Oh, nice job sneaking a left elbow in. Barona needs to close the gap and stay in tight and just turn this into an ugly brawl inside. Like that. And not back, nice. back up after you land. Yeah, he needs to follow those up for sure. Levy breathing heavy now. They're on this corner saying, let's go, Henry. Heavy up against the cage. Verona punches his way in, three shots, and then ties him up. Very interesting story about Henry Barahona. Martial arts really changed his life. He dropped out of school when he was in eighth grade, stumbled upon the Jackson's fitness class, and began training there while weighing well over 200 pounds. His wife, who he met through training, is here tonight watching him compete at 145. Very cool story. Met his wife and got rid of the baby fat. Huh? Baby fat. 10 seconds. 200 pounds at 145. Only 24 years old. Spinning high kick just misses from Levy. And round number two in the books. LFA 58 from Albuquerque, New Mexico. No high kicks. All right, Henry, let's see Mike Winklejohn and Joey Villasenor giving instructions to Boom Boom. Levy doing a good job catching that kick and dumping him. And right away going in for some points. Did a nice job stepping over the guard, getting the half guard, and landing some good elbows before this scramble happened. Verona trying to get out of there, and he had that armbar. You can see it's trapped underneath his armpit. Could have extended that elbow. Didn't get his left leg over the face in time as they rolled through. A lot of good action in that round. Absolutely. And Pat, Levy ties it up. Why'd you give it to Levy? Levy had the submission attempts, had Verona in, in some trouble. Third round, gentlemen. And landed cleaner strikes, more strikes. Very good, now let's check in with Phoenix. I was in Barona's corner, and basically they are noticing that Levy is breathing heavy. They think the altitude's getting to him, too. They did warn Henry not to throw any high kicks this round. Third and final round. Oh, smoked him with that right hook. That was quick. Still anyone's fight. Very quick front kicks to the body. Mm. Right on cue, Pat. Morona needs, like I said, to step, get in his face, and just turn this into an uppercut elbow brawl. Potentially get a takedown, do some damage on the ground. This is the longest fight as a pro for Natan Levy and fighting at Altitude here in Albuquerque. Clinches up and Barahona puts them up against the octagon cage again. Levy giving up underhooks way too easy. It shouldn't be happening. Barahona 
looking for that takedown. Levy looking for the single leg, lets it go. Good knee to the body from Levy. We're well, trying to circle around. Let's go, gentlemen, work. High kick from Levy blocked by Boom Boom. Nice transitional strike by Levy, trying to land that kick in the scramble right after they broke free. As we hit the halfway point of the final round, action slowing down a little bit. It's side kick from Levy to the body. Levy has been fighting smart this round, though. He has been picking his shots. He listened to his corner. Asking for some books. Levy originally from France, then moved to Israel, now training out of Las Vegas. Straight lefts are landing. Oh. Arona just ducked. Missed that hook. Again, giving up double unders. Levy's got to crank down on that overhook. He's got to quit getting his body tilted like that. Levy, a black belt in karate and kung fu. Blue belt in BJJ. Flexibility helping him there to get out of that takedown. Villasenor losing his mind in the corner of their home right now. Under a minute to go. Good, solid knee to the body from Levy. Those front kicks and side kicks to the body also from Levy have added up, taking their toll. Marona backing up Levy. Oh! High kick from Levy, partially blocked. Now shoots in with 20 seconds to go. Landed that hook right after the kick, then shot in on the legs. Working for a takedown is... Time ticks away in the third round. Nasty elbow from Levy. Call that the Spencer Fisher. Wow, yeah. That's going to do it. First fight of LFA 58 will go to the judges' scorecards. Entertaining fight, though, nonetheless. Levy, you can tell he's tired leaning on his coach over there. Good test for him. Very much so. Tough guy in front of him, a little bit of altitude in his lungs. And if the Hall of Famer is correct, Natan Levy will be improving to 3-0. But it was not easy. Check out no, the highlights. Morona definitely stand in Levy's face. You can see how he disappeared after he landed that punch. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't stay there and admire your work. Levy does have very good footwork after he lands his strikes. And a nice job changing levels and then shooting that le straight left high. There it is again. Covering well afterward. Looks like the judges have calculated their scores. Let's get the official decision from Mike Kendall. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges score them out 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Natan Levy. Another win for the young man from Israel, Natan Levy, improves to 3 and 0 oh, and puts the LFA featherweight division on notice. Well, it's gonna